Welcome back to Go Math. This is Grade 4 Lesson 3, Multiply Two-Digit Numbers, Lesson 3.4, Multiply Using Partial Products. Okay, this is Lesson 3.4, Multiply Using Partial Products. How can you uh, use place value and partial products to multiply two-digit numbers? Um, I really like using the place value more than the partial products, so I'm going to focus on the place value more than this. Okay, boys and girls, you have to know how to do this, but the place value is much easier to multiply two digits by two digits. So it says you know how to break apart a model to find partial products. How can you use what you know to find out and record a product? So multiply 34 times 57. Estimate. 30 times 60 is um, 1,800. Well, look what they did for the model. They went 30 plus 4 is 34, and 50 plus 7 is 57. All right? Look over here. They multiplied 30 times 50, which equals 1,500, 1,500. Then they took the 30 again, and they multiplied it by seven ones. 30 times 7 is 210. Over here, 30 times 7, 210. All right. Now they went to the ones column. We multiplied the tens column. Now we're multiplying the ones column. Four ones times five tens is 200. Four ones times seven ones is 28. When we add all of that up, we get 1,938. And since 1,938 is close to the estimate of 1,800, it is reasonable. All right, so we multiply 10, this 10, by this 10, this 10 by this 1. Then we multiply this 1 by this 10, this 1 by this 1. Added them all up, and we got the answer. All right, let's look over here. It says the apples from each tree in an orchard can fill 23 bushels uh, baskets. If one row of the orchard has 48 trees, how many baskets of apples can be filled? Well, I'm going to multiply 48 times 23, and my estimate is going to be 50 times 20, which is 1,000. Now, step one, multiply the tens by the tens. Eight ten, four tens times two tens is 800. Multiply the ones by the tens. Here's your tens, four tens, by three, uh, one, times three ones is 120. Now multiply the ones by the tens. Eight tens times, I'm sorry, eight ones times two tens is 160. Now multiply the ones and the ones. Eight ones times three ones is 24. When I add them all up, I get 1,104, okay? So again, look at it. Here's what I did. Uh, let me get that pointer out. I took, multiplied my 10 by my 10, my 10 by my 1s. I multiplied my 1 by my 10 and my 1 by my 1 added them all up, and I got 1,104. All right, it says, share and show, find, find 24 times 34. So 20 and 4 would be 24, 30 and 4 would be 34. If I did this, I would go 20 times 30 is 600. 20 times 4 is 80. 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 4 is 16. 
and my answer is 816. All right, boys and girls, don't be confused. Um, we're going to do one, two, three, um, four more, and then I'm going to let you do um, some on your own, okay? Let's look at 12 times 12. We take the tens column first. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 2 is 20. Now let's move to the ones column. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 2 is 4. My answer is 144. Let's look at 31 times 24. 20 times 30 is 600. 20 times 1 is 20. 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 1 is is 4. The answer is 744. 25 times 43. 40 times 20 is 800. 40 times 5 is 200. 3 times 20 is 60. 3 times 5 is 15. My answer is 1075. Let's look at 37 times 26. 20 times 30 is 600. 20 times 7 is 140. 6 times 30 is 180. 6 times 7 is 42. And my answer is 962. All right, I want you to do 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Um, I need you to do 10 through 17. Don't forget to, um, do they want you to estimate there? It doesn't say to estimate, does it? So all you have to do is just um, solve the problems the same way that we're doing up here. Um, I want you to look at 18, 19, 20, and 21. I'm going to help you a little bit. All right, you don't have these two numbers here, right? What two numbers multiplied together equal 14? They'd go right there. You don't have these two numbers here. What two numbers multi multiplied together equal 72? Okay, they would go there. All right, let's look at this. Five times what number would equal 15? Right? Okay, once you have that number, you'll be able to figure this one out. And again, what number times 3 equals 6? Once you have that number, you'll be able to figure that out. Okay? So um, then I want you to do 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27 on your own. I know it's a lot. Go ahead and do it. And then um, come back to the video so you can check your work. All right, boys and girls, I want you to check your answers for 6 through 17. If you did any of them wrong, you need to go back and correct them. Um, if you continue to struggle and you're in my class, please contact me and I'll give you individual help. All right, let's look at 18. I said, find a, um, two numbers multiplied together that equal 14. Well, 7 times 2 is 14, so 70 times 20 is 140 or 1,400. Um, add that all together and you get 1,824. Again, um, what two numbers would equal 72 when multiplied together? Well, 8 times 9 equals 72. So 80 times 90 is 7,200, 7,200. Add all of that together, you get 7,954. All right, this looks complicated, but it's not. Okay, I'm looking here at the 1,500. I'm saying to myself, I have a 5. What number times 5 equals 15? 3. So 50 times 30 is 1,500. And again, I have my 3 here now. Um, and I'm trying to figure out um, uh, 3 times what number equals 90 or 30 times what number equals 90, it would be 3. 30 times 3 is 90. Add all of this together, I get 1,908. All right, so let's look at this one. 
30 times what number equals 600? Um, well, I know 3 times 2 is 6, so 30 times 20 is 600. All right, so now I have 2 times what number, or 20 times what number equals 80? I, I know that 2 times 4 is 8, so 20 times 40 is 80. Add all that up, I get 952. All right, let's look at 22, 23, and 24. Um, very important that you know that each of these um, equal 10. So a fruit packing company warehouse is shipping 15 boxes of grapefruit to a store in Santa Rosa. What is the total weight of the shipment? Well, 15 boxes times the number of grapefruit. It'd be 10, 20, 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and a half, that would be 85, okay? So 85 times 15 is 1,275. All right, so it says, how much less do 13 boxes of tangelos weigh than 18 boxes of tangerines? Well, 13 boxes of tangelos um, be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I would take 90 times 13, and then um, the tangerines are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95 times 18. When I um, figure those multiplication problems out and I subtract um, the two products, I get 540 pounds. It says, what is the weight of 12 boxes of oranges? Oranges? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It would be 90 times 12 is 1,080. All right. It says each person in the United States eats about 65 fresh apples each year. Best, based on this estimate, how many apples do three families of four eat each year? Well, that's easy. I take 65 times 3, and that's 195. I would multiply that by 4, and I get 780 apples. All right, let's look at number 26. The product of 26 times 93 is greater than 25 times 93. How much greater? Explain how you know the difference. Well, the difference is 93. 26 times 93 is one more group of 93 than 25 times 93. All right, let's look at number 27. Margot wants to use partial product to find 22 times 17. What? Write the numbers in the boxes that show 22 times 17. Well, I can go 20 times 10 plus 20 times 7 plus 2 times 10 plus 2 times 7. So all you had to do was this right here right there. Okay, practice and homework. Um, my class, don't forget, page 167 and 168 on your own. Take a snapshot of it, send it to me, I'll grade it, and if you got anything incorrect, I'll give you an opportunity to fix it. Okay, that is the end of lesson 3.4. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Awesome Possum Classroom 451. If you would like these worksheets, email me at awesomepossumclassroom at gmail.com and I will send you the link. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next lesson.